So first of all, congratulations on the film. I enjoyed watching this thriller and it's really well done. Thank you, thank you very much. This is your first film in 10 years, so what drew you to its script? Um, well, first of all, it's a beautiful script. Uh, very sharp dialogues, very well-formed characters, and with the meaning, which is the truth, I think. And uh, I think it was about time that somebody made a film about truth, <laughs> especially given you know what we see happening every day. Did you do a lot of research into art galleries and art critics, that sort of thing behind? Uh, well, I am always, I've always been interested in, in art, uh, modern art and contemporary art, so I kind of more or less knew what it was talking about. There's a sort of Alfred Hitchcock quality to this thriller. You think it's a love story and then it goes off in a totally different direction. Was he an influence on your work in any way? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the original script was set in Palm Beach in Florida. But I didn't think it was Hitchcockian enough, <laughs> so we moved it to, uh, you know, to a more sophisticated setting, um, which is Lake Como, which kind of reminds uh, us the, um, you know, Côte d'Azur, the Riviera, and also the actors are very much Hitchcockian. You know, they're very beautiful and and tall and handsome and very well dressed and combed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I wanted to give it, you know, sort of an Hitchcockian atmosphere to it. Yeah. You definitely have two big legends in this film, and I read that you drew McDagger to this role. How so? Well, more than me, the script, I think. Uh, I think he loved the script, he loved his character, uh, and it was very easily to, easy to convince at the end. Um, and he proved to be a very good actor. He definitely did. Yeah, right. <laughs> Donald Sutherland is a fan of your work and your directing style. Can you talk a bit about collaborating with him? Well, you know, I mean, Donald, I mean, is one of the um, greatest actors that, you know, we have. Uh, so, I mean, what can I say? I didn't direct him. I mean, you know, he's just a genius. Each of them have different approaches you mentioned. So can you talk about each of the actors and their approach to this film and how did you help them? Well, I think for Donald, um, I, I think the, the character of Debony, the painter, resonates in Donald a lot because they're the same age and they've seen everything in life. I'm sure that Donald played poker with Picasso once at <laughs> least, <laughs> I don't know. So I think, you know, the, the character that Debney, that Donald plays as, uh, as a meaning for him as a person as well. I mean, I can't talk, um, you know, obviously about what's his personal view or take on this character, but I think, you know, it's very close to him. Um, as for Mick, again, I cannot talk for him, but I think, the, the, you know, again, a rich guy, you know, who could be slightly uh, devilish, mm -hmm. uh, maybe is drawn to, you know, the, this side of, uh, of, of, of life. Um, but in real life, he's a very sweet and gentle person, so. Uh, maybe wanted to play somebody who wasn't him. Yeah, it was different. Uh, um, for Elizabeth Kleiss, I don't know, you'll ask Kleiss because it's going to be next. Elizabeth definitely saw the uh, purity of Berenice and what she means uh, inside this little story um, and the sacrifice that she makes for it. This is a beautiful neo-noir thriller, so I had to ask, what is the biggest challenge when it came to adapting this novel? Well, I have to be honest with you, the script that I received was already incredibly beautiful, so I didn't have to work much. <laughs> I just, you know, I concentrated on working with the actors and trying to give it a nice atmosphere. But it was an easy task with this script. One of my favorite scenes is as well, oh, actually when she asks him what exactly is the meaning of the burnt orange heresy, so I guess I have to ask you that, what is your interpretation of it? Well, as everything in contemporary art, you know, uh, the meaning is mostly what you see in it. Uh, does this mean that all art, modern or contemporary art is bullshit? I don't know, maybe, <laughs> or maybe not. I mean, I if you get emotional or if you get some emotion out of a painting, that's the meaning that you should uh, keep of it. James is an art critic and he's asked in the movie if he could interview any living artist. So I'm going to ask you as a director, if you could sit down and interview any actor or director, who would it be? Oh, 
living or not living <laughs> or dead? I'd say living. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be Hitchcock. But okay. Uh, living, uh, I'd say Martin Scorsese. Oh, nice. Mm. Good one. Why so? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> that is true. That is true. Well, thank you so much no, for thank the chat you. and wishing you all the best. And again, like I said, this is a really good film. Thank, thank you, you very much. <laughs> thank you.